Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe. In this video, we're going to show you where you can go and check that GS1 is correct on a listing on Amazon. Now, if all of those words are a different language to you, this video is probably not for you. This is aimed at people who are selling third party products on Amazon and it's to check that the product they're about to list on, if it's an individual item, is actually listed on the GS1 UK database for the correct item. Now, why is that important? Well, it's particularly important when the brand who manufactured the products decide to vendor fulfill that is, they act as a wholesaler to Amazon and have got their products in brand registry. Now, it may never affect all of the listings on there, and there potentially will be bundles that have been done using a generic listing. Now, if other people have bought GS1s and listed on those, that wasn't the right way to go, and they have opened themselves up to potential intellectual property, that's IP issues from Amazon. However, let's show you where the GS1 database is and what that will do for you. So here is the GS1 database and what you're going to need is the barcode off the back of the product to search. When you put the barcode in, something should come up. Now, I'm going to test something. Let's see if I've got anything with a barcode hiding in plain sight on my desk. I have, so let's go and try this. Now, I'm doing this live, so I've no idea if this is going to work. So let's just try it. Oh, we seem to be missing a zero at the beginning. Let's try it with a zero at the beginning. There we go. Right, here we go. So this is registered to a company called Woolbro Distribution. That isn't the person on the product in my hand. There is no brand name. There is no product description. There is no URL. Hmm. Okay. So this one isn't telling you very much but then it's not telling amazon very much either so potentially whatever this product is that li is listed it's not going to come across a mismatch however you need to be checking whatever it is you're doing because the last thing you want is lots of products going into stranded that are going to cost you money to bring them back you may well then want to go and look at your own listings or if it's causing you real grief for the products. Hopefully that's been helpful to you.